<clears throat> Namaste, love and light to all my beautiful divine feminine and masculines out there. Welcome back to another reading with me. Starseeds Tarot 444, where you can get tarot readings and so much more. I see you all love and light, abundance, and prosperity. And keep it here. And if y'all would like to book um, a reading with me for this week or donate to me on my channel, please check the description box down below. Everything you need to know will be there in the description box. I feel like there's a reason why I forgot it to put that because at the top of it is rose-colored glasses. Somebody could be, you know, seeing things from their only perspective. They're not seeing things. You know, I'm getting full of glass. And with that glass of water, you know, you know, water can, um, you can see illusions in water. Some of you guys can see visions in water. I don't know. Uh, somebody could have had a vision of your higher self, but you could have had a vision of your higher self. Um, let's see. Rose colored glasses with that rose colored glasses in the water. Maybe somebody could be under some type of illusion spell. We've been getting that lately. These illusion spells are about to die out. Like, honestly, they're about to stop. If they've been working on you or you've been feeling them, all that is about to stop. You're not going to be feeling no illusion or you're not going to be feeling it anymore. So that's good. Somebody could be, like, going colorblind. Somebody could be seeing a lot of foggy colors, like, in their vision. I feel like somebody's vision could be going bad. They could even be going blind or colorblind. Okay, most men are, like, colorblind, right? Or don't they go colorblind at, like, a certain age? So, maybe I want to get your eyes checked, okay? It's like, why does your intuition keep shocking people? That's what Spirit is saying. Like, people should not be surprised that you're so intuitive. All right, it's no, it's no surprise anymore. Why people keep acting shocked? Like, oh my God, you're so intuitive. You found this out. Oh my God, how do you know this? Because you are psychic. All right, you're intuitive as hell. All right, this is the impress, okay? You are the impress. You're intuitive. You're divine feminine. That's why you're so damn, in, you know, intuitive. That's why you know everything. You, that's, you're psychic. The freak, let me pull out these cards. Spirit is, look, is showing me different cards to use for this spread, for this read. Gotcha, spirit. All right. I feel like for some of you guys, you don't know how to feel about something, but I'm getting in my gut that you believe something, though. Like, you don't know how you feel about it, but maybe you believe someone or you believe what someone is saying, but you're still iffy. It's like you don't have the full story I'm getting, but you're understanding something and you may believe Somebody, certain emotions or their viewpoint, their point of view. You may be supporting someone overall or understanding of someone. You may want to help them. Okay. We have children and bumping heads. I feel like spirit is guiding you right now. All right. And helping you get out of a situation. Okay. Because I feel like, for some of you guys, your person is a bit dangerous. They they are the ones that's not seeing things clearly. And it's like, whenever they look at you, they just want to sabotage you and hurt you. All right, some of you guys are drinking alkaline water. You may need to drink alkaline water if you're into that. Or you may listen to the artist Alkaline, the dance hall artist. Okay. I'm picking up so much downloads right now. Just let's just hope for the best. Whatever outcome is in store for you, whatever you are expecting, just hope for the best. Pray and hope for the best because Spirit is saying you are under heavy spell work, like manipulate. Like I'm getting like spiritual warfare, and then 
um, manipulation. There's a lot of gossip that needs to be cleaned up, okay? Because, like I said, somebody, whoever you've been bumping heads with, they've been gossiping about you, slandering your name. So they're saying everything about you because they're mad at you. They're angry with you. And I feel like that time is about to be up soon. I feel like they're dragging it out. So whoever this person is that, like, won't let you go and keep slandering you, this could be your, per your, your lover here. They've been dragging it out. They refuse to just let go and do the right thing. But I feel strongly like they want to come towards you, though. Uh-uh, no. No, after all the gossip and slander, all the stuff that they said, and it's like, you you are psychic, you're intuitive, so you can feel it. You know what they're saying. It's like, you're like, no. They know you're going to say no. They know you're going to turn them down. And that could be another reason why they're so angry. They should. I feel like they're more upset with themselves than you, all right, because of what they've done, and they just have not taken accountability yet. Or they just, yeah, I'm getting they want to take account for what they did. All right, like... They won't accept it either. They won't accept it either. All right, so whatever conflict, that's the outcome. Spirit is saying whatever conflict you are experiencing, all right, you know, Spirit is saying just hope for the best. All right, because things is about to blow up. I'm seeing your spirit guys. They are watching. They're like, we know what's going on. We watching you. We watching you. We got you. We, we we got a plan. Don't worry. Everything is going to, you know, blow up in this person's face in the end. You know, whoever this is that's slandering you and making you out as a bad person, someone that you cannot, like, making it seem like you can't be trusted. I'm getting the slander. It's so people won't trust you. So people won't, you know, take kind to you. I guess, like, you know, be nice to you, trust you, basically like that. And your person know that you are intuitive, and that's why they're trying to block it. They're trying to make you the rose-colored glasses person, but I feel like they are the ones because they're the ones that can't see the truth. They they can't see clearly. I feel like they're caught up in a bunch of illusions. That's that wa cup of water, okay? And it's like the water is rippled, okay, like wavy. It's like this person is no it's, – it's, they can't see things clear. It's not a clear cup. It's not a clear cup. This could be their chalice. I'm telling y'all, y'all chalice is connected with your spiritual gifts. Rather, you know, anyone wants to believe it or not. Your crown is as well. Those are gifts. Okay? Your intuition, your clairs are gifts. All that is connected with your cup. Your chalice. We all have one. Okay? When this person look in, look, the song is called Prayer. I can't make it up. It's your Holy Grail. Okay? It's, that's your Christ-like connection and your gifts is connected with your with your connection with god your connection with christ all right um what i was about to say was this person when they look into their chalice it's blurry their third eye is blocked that's why they're seeing a lot of illusions they're seeing things what they want to see they're not seeing things for what it is flat out what it is they're seeing things from their own perspective See, that's why y'all bumping heads. Because this person is, is looking at you a certain way. When it's really another way. It's the illusion. They're cast under some damn illusion here. And it, I, I feel like the illusion could be lifetime. It could have been from a third party. Okay? It's like you're grounding yourself, listening to your music, protecting your energy from this person. Because, you know, they're bumping heads with you, even spiritually. You're intuitive as F. You know who is spiritually attacking you. You know it's this person. And it's a man and a woman. It's like you can't. They can't hide themselves anymore. All right, and Spirit is saying it's cleanup time with the spring cleaning. And we in spring season, and I just did a video talking about a karmic twin. This could be part two of your karmic twin flame um, journey. Rather, I want to be with them after or not. Just know Spirit is about to clean up the whole this whole mess that they try to manifest for you this season, this spring season. Okay, they probably try to manifest a, a completely different outcome for you this spring equinox. All right, because your person could be tapped into that shit too, and the moon cycles and, you know, when to manifest. So they probably did something like that to you. And I feel like this is something that, you know, may not even know about. You guys probably even wasn't even aware that they may have done this. Okay? But that's not for everyone. But regardless, they, they was manifesting bad luck to happen. And your ancestors are about to clean it up. Okay? Keep sending out prayers. Keep praying. Keep praying. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, you are connected. Some of you guys are magicians. Musicians. <laughs> I said magicians. You guys are magicians. You guys could sing. I'm here. You're an oracle. You guys are oracles. 
Yeah, and, and you know, part of you being an oracle is you having a singing voice. I don't know. I guess you can heal people with your voice. I don't know. But being an oracle is like seeing things. The Spirit is saying that's a part of your gifts, too, is you being an oracle, you being a singer. You have a lot of, we have a lot of gifts and talents as humans. All right? Because of our genes, where we come from, our bloodline, our ancestry skin. Reality here is the song. So, something about reality. Is it your reality that's wrong, or is this person's perspective that's wrong? I'm trying to figure it out. Hold on. Somebody could be realizing something. Something could be somebody could be gaining clarity as to what's really going on. Some of you guys need to just sit back and listen to some meditation music or just and be in a meditative mindset all in all. And and you know, get a clear mind. Think about something here. Yeah, like because somebody is trying to block your beliefs or stagnate your beliefs or make you believe something, you know, their own way. I feel like some of you guys could be realizing that you could have been giving your time and energy into someone that could have been wasting your time. Yeah, look, bumping heads is here. So you guys realize you was wasting your time helping this person. Hold on, let me get her some juice. Okay. Um, so some of you guys may need some clarity on how you should clean up this situation with the spring clean, like how you should deal with something. Like you guys, yeah, like I said, some of y'all realizing that you was helping this person for no reason. Okay. Something about your childhood, but something, this could be connected with your childhood. This person could be connected with your in a child, let's just see what it is. Clarity, what clarity you need? Oneness and unity, solar plexus. I accept the oneness of all life, and I know I am one with all other others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others, and I choose to see the love in all around me. I did say earlier that you guys, um, did I say that you guys were being compassionate? Okay, or in understanding. All right. I see everything as part of my own life, and I accept others for who they are. 
I find common ground with others rather than differences as this brings harmony into my life and into others. You guys are choosing to do the right thing, the, to be about oneness and unity. All right. I feel like you you are basically going to treat others how they're treating you moving forward. All right. So I feel like you're going to move forward. You're going to see how somebody operates and you're going to go based upon that. I feel like that's what your higher self is telling you. That's what your spirit team is telling you. That's what your archangels is telling you is to trust someone and see where things go. All right. And for some of you guys, spirit could be telling you to, to not deal with someone because they could be draining you. All right. I'm getting flip flop vibes here. Like you guys may be flipping the switch on someone, you know, maybe you may flip out on someone or something like that. I don't know. I just feel like you guys are cleaning, cleaning house, cleaning out energy that don't serve you and welcoming in energy that does serve you. And you may be opening up to a new energy around you that's positive. Okay. I am a mentor, not a rescuer. Yeah, you can't save anyone. You can only help them and offer them, like, advice. You can't really save anyone else. So then, plus, understand this. People want to tell you what they want you to know, what they want you to believe, what they want you to hear. They never want to tell you the full story. They're never really going to take accountability. And, um, yeah, I feel like y'all just got to be careful who, you know, you may try to defend. I feel like that's something that I had to learn. We all have to learn. I feel like you guys are realizing that if this is your person pretending to them, you guys are realizing, like, you know what, I put too much time, blood, sweat, and sweet tears into this situation and then I move forward. So moving forward, I'm putting my time into energy that is serving me. Yeah, look, I avoid continually sacrificing my own happiness for others by rescuing and enabling them as doing this may hinder personal growth for both of us. Yeah, it's like, you can't accept somebody's wrong, okay? You can't accept their wrong. You can only accept their rights, but the, the things that they're doing right. But if you recognize somebody's doing something wrong, you need to call them out for it or, you know, deal with them accordingly based upon that. And I feel like you guys could be realizing, like, you know, the way that something is going is not the right way. We'll see. I choose not to be a, what, a martyr or something like that, a martyr, I don't know. I am a mentor, not a rescuer. I do not assume that everyone wants my opinions and solutions to their life challenges. As, And if I am in doubt, I will ask them. I take responsibility for my own happiness. Yeah, I feel like somebody just needs to take accountability for their own happiness. Somebody just need to clean up their shit. All right. They move forward. I feel like some of you guys need to clear your chakras, your third and second, second chakra. Because it could be some blockages there. I'm feeling for some of you guys, somebody was trying to block you from seeing the truth, though. Your person could have been trying to block you. Yeah, we did pick that up early because y'all intuitive. But for others, you guys, it could be other people around you that's, like, trying to put on a mask. All right. Look, your lover, though. Spirit is exposing it's your lover. They're trying to put up put up a, um, a mask as if they were so perfect and they ain't do anything wrong to you. And you are this, this evil, manipulative, toxic, wicked person. Like I said... How the way they looking at you is a bad perspective. It's that rose colored glasses. They looking at you very evil. They need to freaking wipe their eyes, wipe their glasses or some shit, okay? Because those rose colored, you gotta go. You gotta be back clear. All right. I feel like you guys are feeling high vibrational today. You are feeling good. Keep that good energy. All right, you want to keep that same energy. So keep high vibrational. All right, look, mask. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody is wearing a mask. Somebody could be mad that somebody is fake, like somebody's mask is off. Somebody could be mad that their mask is off. Okay? Like, you clearly see somebody for who, who, they, who, for who they truly are. All right? And you could have found out some information, and it just got you feeling negative, like, all in all towards this person. Like, this person is just, like, um... Low vibrational. That was random ass. And you're high vibrational. I feel like you guys secretly want to let something go, though. And I feel like it's tied in with your person. Like, you secretly want to let your person go. But you know your person still want to hold on to you. I don't... They could be doing stuff at midnight. You could be up at midnight because it's always called midnight. Somebody could be doing spells against you at midnight. Look, gossip. 
I feel like you doing spell work is a bunch of gossip and hearsay, and that's why spirit is cleaning that shit up because this person is trying to expose you for being someone who you're not. Okay, a wicked and a witch, and I got spell work because I just talked about spell work. So I feel like there's gossip going around about you being a witch. Okay, if you're masculine, a warlock or whatever, and um. Spirit is cleaning that shit up. I feel like there's a lot of people gossiping about you. Alright? Could have been a group of females. All talking about you. Yeah, I feel like people, that's why Spirit said keep a positive outcome. You want to see how things just shift in your favor, all right? In a sense of people want to start, you know, shifting their energy into more love and light. Like, they're not going to want to be mentally, like, they don't want to have, they don't want to mentally deal with what it is that your partner is putting you through or what they're telling other people. They're just going to be like, I just choose love and light. I don't want to do it. Forget it. I don't care. I just want to release it from my heart because the war is over. I feel like it's your person that's still holding on. Like I said, they're not saying that. They make it seem like it's you and it's them. All right, I feel like y'all did cord cuttings and everything, and this person they just don't seem to get it. I don't. I don't like their mental space. I don't like where their head is at right now. All right, they need to ground themselves. All right, you guys are grounded. I feel like listen, the gossip about the end. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Hallelujah. Okay, Hallelujah. Not your. Let me not be funny. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Because the Spirit is, is giving you a heads up. Like, just ground yourself. Ground yourself. This shit is about to soon end. It's like whatever this person is avoiding happening is going to happen anyway. That's why your Spirit guys looking down at you. Like, we see you. We know what's going on. This person can't do anything. They can't. Your life is already set. Your life is already changed. For the greater spirit, I see in a bright light. Like you're good, and you're already walking along it, align along it. All right. Is this person? They about to get exposed. Something about your children too. Yeah, you know what's going on with your kids. All right, and it's like somebody does not, okay, something's going on with your children. Okay? And you could feel it intuitively. And I feel like you know what's going on. And somebody's trying to tell you don't trust your intuition. It's wrong. It's not right. And you know it's true. You And that could be why you so upset, too, because you know what you're picking up intuitively. And somebody's trying to doubt your intuition and say that you are wrong. You're connected here. I feel like you have every right to speak up against your children. If somebody is talking down on your kids, you have every right to protect your children. Every freaking right. And it's like it doesn't matter what some what this what your this your person or whoever this third party energy is. It doesn't matter what they say that you you said they people are starting to say but we heard you say something about divine feminine we didn't hear divine feminine say anything about you besides what the hell you said that they said what she said all right so which one is it i'm telling you rose colored glasses this person is going to have an unexpected outcome they all here thinking everything is fine and dandy they got control of the wheel oh unexpected skirt stop no all right, the song is called Hazy. Things are very hazy for this person right now who's doing it. Yeah. 
I almost cried when I picked up that thing about your children. Because you know it's true. You know what you're feeling about your kids is true. A, a mother would never lie on her kids, okay? A mother would never do that unless she don't care about her children. And she's not in her kid's life and she's out here, you know, on drugs, you know, doing stuff that she ain't supposed to be doing. You, you are in tune with your kids. You know what's going on with your children. And somebody just don't want you to trust yourself so they can keep doing the bull crap that they're doing. This is this person is tricking you. Alright? They're definitely a little trickster too. Now I do listen, leg bars are trickster. Tricksters are not bad. It just when it's how the way you manipulating, how you using your powers of manipulation. This person is using their manip powers of manipulation to ma to control people's mind. Alright, to bind people so they can have control. All right, and you know this about this person. And this person is mad because you know this. This person is mad that you know this here. And that you set boundaries. You're connected, man. You know that there's some damn bullshit going on around you energetically. All right? And Spirit is saying to speak up. All right? And we have, it's a secret. So you guys could have told someone about this. And they just like, I got you, girl. I'm going to keep it a secret. I know you the sweetest, sweetest thing. All right? It's just fear. Right? That's fear. All right? Just focus on your new beginning. It's fear that this person is trying to stall in you. Let me pull a few more. Look, I knew I knew a horizontal card was gonna come out. Somebody is looking at someone like negative. Somebody you could be around a negative Natasha. I'm getting a strong energy that you guys were around an energy recently, like a new energy, and you maybe been trying to sort this person out. And this could be connected with the clean house. I mean spring cleaning. And your spirit guides are telling you this too. To befriend someone. They're kind, they're nice. Okay, and it's making me wanna cry. So that, that and whenever I feel teary eyed or emotional, I know that's an angelic message. That the angels are telling you the truth here. You never picked up negative energy from this person from day one. Never. You never picked up negative energy. Honestly, I feel like there. Oh my god. Songs called whistle songs. Some of you guys are whistle whistleblowers. You guys like you guys came on this planet to to expose the truth, expose what's going on um and on in the world. You know, like government and shit like that. I'm getting you are also a whistleblower for light workers here. All right, so some of you guys are here to help set other light workers free from manipulative people that you dealing with. Okay, like what you're dealing with right now. You're a whistleblower. It's like you was guided to someone. To set them free and break them free from whatever tactic or manipulative control that they could be under. And it could be, like, someone's DM. So, this could be vice versa. I'm seeing it from your perspective and from someone else's perspective that you may be dealing with. That, okay? And this this energy, I'm not picking up your DM right now. It's, but your DM is involved. You could have met someone and you they told you how they're trying to clean up their energy. They're trying to get rid of something or someone. Blah, 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 and it's their DM. Okay? Maybe in the beginning you wasn't hearing that. Or they wasn't. Alright? Because they probably felt like they may know your DM. Okay? But you probably didn't. Whatever. You probably didn't know that they knew each other. And that's fine. That's cool. I don't feel like that's a problem. I feel like you'll be you'll be glad because now you get to say your two senses. You're actually happy that this person knows your DM because now you get to tell the true story. And again, you this per, you never told the story or this person never got a chance to say their story. If if this is you helping them. Mommy. 
well, you're here to set, set this person free. It's like in the beginning, you probably wasn't hearing it. You probably thinking it's hearsay. I don't know. But I feel like now you realize, like, I never really got bad energy from this person. Never had gotten bad energy. You may have even seen, like, a bright light behind this person, or you may see that this person is truly blessed. They are truly gifted. You might see this person light and you saw that they are trapped. So you're trying to set the free. You are a whistleblower for other light workers that is going through a situation like this. Okay? You're here to set them free. There's someone that's mad. I feel like it's bigger than what they're, they're um, bigger than somebody mad is being taken off. I feel like somebody that's angry overall. Like, Mad that some like hearing something just pissed them off. But I feel like you're realizing that somebody is negative. Yeah. Some of y'all could be reflecting on some, what someone said and it's like making you mad here. Because you, spirit could have told you about this, could have even warned you about something. And you probably didn't listen or you gave someone the benefit of the doubt. Or you could have just been trying to, you know, weigh the scale. Okay? Probably be like a mentor. It says, I am a mentor, not a rescuer. All right. Yeah. I feel like you were just trying to met, res, mentor the situation, but somebody wants you to almost like rescue them. All right, save them. And you're just like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not about to save you. All right, I'll tell you what you can do, but I'm not about to, you know, sit up here and, you know, rescue you. You got to save yourself. Not to sound selfish, but that's what I'm getting. I'm just getting a lot of negative gossip, too. And you're connected with it. You know it. All right? That's, yeah, you need to protect your energy. And and understand you are strong. Yeah, people, they're going to talk shit. They're going to gossip. All right? People going to lie and deny stuff. You pick things up, they're going to say that's not true, and they're going to flip it on you and saying that you're doing that, and you're doing this, and you're doing that. And it just, no. So that's why you do got to protect your energy here. Even your crown. Some of y'all were just in Chinatown. That's in New York, right? Some of y'all from Chinatown or from... I don't know. Let's just keep going. Surprise twist here. In Evelation and Celebration. So, yeah, somebody is mad at your come up. Somebody is really dry and upset about your come up here. They're not happy about it. Okay? And I feel like... Oh, my God. You guys are hearing, like, two sides of the story. Something is, like, really shocking you. Something is, like, really shocking you. New beginning, yeah, somebody is really shitting on your new beginning. Somebody is really shitting on your new beginning. That's why they're about to receive an unexpected outcome, and it's a secret. This person ain't going to know anything. Something about your children is you are intuitive. You know what's going on with your kids. Somebody is, you could have told somebody something. You could have told somebody about what's going on with your children, and they're like, they're going to keep it a secret, okay? But you need to protect your children from whomever. Yeah, every day. 
It's like you, for some of you guys, you feel a negative energy every day coming from someone. Like your gut telling you that you really shouldn't trust someone or you shouldn't really be communicating with someone. Or you really shouldn't be telling them certain things and stuff like that. Or you shouldn't tell them something like that. Like you just, I don't know, you just, I, I, that's what I'm getting. It's like when you texting or talking to someone, you just feel like you shouldn't open up to them. But when you talk to someone else, you feel like you should. All right? I'm telling you, like something... Some type of scales are being balanced out. And something is being, like, flipped. It's like whoever you was trusting, you're, you're trusting someone else. It's like, and you guys are accepting things. Look. Accepting yourself. You're the sweetest thing here. Connected. Yeah, listen. Listen. With this sweetest thing and connect, I feel like people are trusting your... Your innocence, your intuitive downloads, what you feel intuitively. You may feel like it's not, people are not doing it, but honestly, people are. All right, and I'm getting that reality song again. You remember I was trying to figure that out? I feel like, you know, people have their own reality. People can try to send attacks and illusions, all right, to make someone believe them. But, you know, it, it will only work if you let them. And, and if you're strong enough, you have a strong mind and your higher self is strong, all right, your angelic team got your back, they're going to show you the truth. Regardless. You're connected here. You know what's going on with you. And, and, and spiritually, psychically, you know it. And someone's mad because you know. Because for some of you guys, they were smiling in your face. But mad, hating on, on you behind your back. Watching you mad. But in your face happy. For like somebody just cannot see your come up. In a sense of they can't see your potential. As I saw, I'll fix your crown. Yeah, they, they, it's like they want you to adjust your crown the way that it's supposed to be. And that's not the case. Sorry, y'all. I be daydreaming. It's a lot of heavy energy, a lot of heavy shit. Oh, it is being circled back on someone else here. Yeah, speak up. Keep speaking up. Somebody keeps saying, keep speaking up. All right, and keep protecting your children in your new beginning. Regardless of what happened next, keep speaking up. Somebody likes that you speak up against injustice. Like I said, for some of y'all, you guys are a, whistle, a whistleblower. Or some of you guys could have met a whistleblower, okay? And they're helping you get out of this situation. They're here to speak up against the injustice that's going on, but, you know, behind your back. That, that this person, this, your DM specifically for a lot of you guys, is denying. They're over here denying that they're putting you through all this. And they and they are. They know you are. And this whistleblower may know, too. They may feel it, they, they may feel it psychically, you know, intuitively. Yeah, somebody says everything's going to be okay. It's like I want I really want to cry. Yeah, believes. You have strong spiritual beliefs here. I feel like you know your shit. You know what you be talking about. Regardless of what anyone want to say, you know what you're talking about here. And I feel like people around you feel your good energy. you definitely been getting been slandered lately. You're getting um, redeemed for it. God is redeeming you. And God is about to cover up whoever this negative Natasha is that's, you know, talking shit about you.
Yeah, I feel like mistakes happen here, but somebody, I feel like somebody feel like they ain't make a mistake. Yeah, your DM is under some type of delusion, like they're not making any mistakes here, like they're not going to receive karma for what they are doing. And they don't think that they're karmic. Somebody was really believing something negative against you and it was just not true. It's like somebody is seeing things the right way and someone around them, this could even be you, and they're trying to convince you or someone around this person that you are bad and evil. All right, yeah, ebb and flow is the song. Somebody's about to get the energy that they're sending out. That's why I keep getting that. I was I kept hearing keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. So somebody about to keep, they need to keep whatever energy they putting out, they better be prepared because it's coming back. Look, and it's gonna be unexpected with this is a secret. Alright? Spirit wants you to just dance. Everything's gonna be okay. Time is ticking here. This person is like a ticking bomb. This shit's about to go off. Their little bomb is about to go off. This whole music, some of you guys need to listen to music today and just vibe and chill. And stay away from some whatever conflict. Because I was just about to say, something feels heavy on your heart. Something's weighing on your heart. Is somebody trying to make something, like they're trying to make you feel bad about something. Or they're making you feel way down on your heart. Like that's what I'm getting. Like they're making you feel this way. And no, like somebody just needs to accept the fact that they made a mistake and something just bounced back on them. And, and, you know, they are under their own spell. You are protected. You know what's going on strongly. And somebody's just about to receive karma. Somebody just needs to, you know, accept fate. Okay? Accept fate. I was thinking to myself last night, like, is this really, you know, the shit that I'm going through right now with, you know, this person. Is this really a part of my destiny or is it fate? And I started realizing, like, I feel like this is just fated. And fate and destiny is different for me. Destiny is what's written out for you. All right, what's already there for you, all right, that's created for you. Fate, I feel like, is governed by karma. It's almost like, you know, you had a chance to go after what was destined, but so much karmic shit was built up towards you or around you or whoever, whoever this person is that now is fated. Like, whatever happens has to happen, you know. It has to happen that way. And it can't be changed. Just like with it, your destiny can't be changed, fate can't be changed either. I feel like your fate could, could be... um worse or less depending on what you're doing at that present time and the per during the present moment all right but i feel like you know your success you're gonna have it what was it's ordained but what's about to fall apart in this situation you know because you're going to get out of it but i feel like it's going to fall apart and i feel like that is faded it's like somebody was not trusting themselves their higher self you know they was not taking heed to the warnings they was not focusing on themselves and now it's like something is faded for them like this has to happen in order to teach them a lesson they couldn't follow along their destiny okay it's faded yeah somebody is chasing you but they're saying you fake fake flexing so if you fake flexing, why are they chasing you? Yeah. Warm for the winter. I feel like, you know, all in all, whatever's faded is going to push this person to work on themselves and fix themselves. I feel like a lot of people try to make things faded for you through spell work and it didn't manifest. Look, legal issues. That's karma. So now shit is about to be faded for them. I don't know how harsh and, and severe it's going to be, but 
Let's see what the tea is. Look, somebody's all in their head. Somebody's trying to say that you all in your head, but you can clearly spit. You know you not ain't all in your head. Or someone around you is trying to say that someone, you, you shouldn't trust someone next to you or, like, I'm getting next to you. So maybe you are close to someone or you talk to someone, you're connected with someone, and someone around you is saying don't trust them. They be all in their head. They're delusional and stuff, but you don't feel that. You feel like they the truth, like they have vibrational. Like, they, they crown chakra is, a, is, is anointed. Like, they're anointed and crowned. You feel that. Somebody is just overthinking. I feel like somebody around you that's outside of this person, that person who's telling you not to trust them, not to trust the person around you, that's going to be, or right, anyway, they the one that's overthinking. All right, they the one that is trying to be the impersonator. Okay? And that's why you need to move on from this 3D-based person. All right, look, unfazed here, reverse. I feel like somebody is suffering from a lot of anxiety. I'm getting a lot of anxiety with that unfazed. All right, reverse, because they're phased. And I feel like somebody is claiming that they're not worrying about you and your energy, but they are. <sighs> Somebody was born 1993. We have dirty offer. Somebody is trying to give you a dirty offer. Be careful here. I feel like somebody is get. Ooh, you need to be careful who who you trust. For real, for real. Because like I said, the person who's saying you know you can't trust this one, you need to be careful with them. All right. Because spirit, yeah, I should have said that the right way. Spirit said, and they repeated it. Because the same person who you said, who's saying that you can't trust that person, you really can't trust them. The same person who's saying you can't trust, you shouldn't trust them. There we go. <laughs> somebody have a dirty ego. That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody's ego has a track rep, a record. It's like, it's, it's a bad reputation. When someone's in their ego, they may turn into, like, a murderer, a serial killer, you know, obsessive. You know, not really mentally right, okay? Your ego is your shadow. It's your, it's almost like your dev, your devilish side. And when someone's in their ego, they are, like, not healthy. They're not well. And I feel like you need to be careful with this person because it's like they're going to convince you to do some shit, all right? And it's just going to feed your ego, okay? It's just going to feed your ego, and I feel like it's going to make the situation worse than better. So do not accept whatever offer this person is offering to you, like, hey, Let's go ahead and do this and do that. And you feeling your heart is wrong. Don't do it because that energy is going to come back around on you. That karma, that good old karma. And you don't want to get licked with karma. All right. Somebody, your person wants you back. I feel like they're doing everything to you. All this gossip and slander and talking about you with someone else is because they want you back. Some of you guys have Native American in, in your blood here. All right. Something about your birth chart again. Look, we have kissing ass and incarcerated. Somebody is... <sighs> Somebody is kissing your ass, okay, because they're afraid of going to jail. Grudge holder. Yeah, again, somebody's mad because you're winning and they thought that they would want to plot against you with your children. I'm getting, it was, some of you guys, it was your ex, all right? They, I'm getting they want you to move away too. But with this grudge holder and holding that and kissing ass, I don't know, it's like somebody's holding a grudge, but they also kissing ass. And I'm also hearing hauling ass. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot of shit going on. I'm getting ripped up. Somebody could be ripping up paper. And that could be a secret. I don't know. That somebody could have ripped something up here. This could have been like some important document. This could be like a paper, um, a picture, something. All right, heads in the clouds reverse. So I feel like, no, you don't have your heads in the cloud. I feel like, no, you don't have your heads in the cloud. And you can clearly see that someone is phased here. I feel like you guys can see past an illusion for real. You guys can clearly see that someone around you is under an illusion. And that someone is feeling someone else's energy and they don't like it. It's like you, you're seeing that someone around you here is being energy harvest. And you can tell from the energy they're giving you that they don't like they don't like it. Or this could even be you. You can clearly see that this person is stealing your energy. I'm just getting that you guys are seeing something clearly about someone around you. All right, that someone is a, a, a stalker here. Rejected here in the reverse. So something wasn't 
Wow. For some of you guys, this, if this is your DM, I strongly feel like it is. This person is intentionally hurting you. It's like even when you did open up to them and reach out to them, they still, you know, was in their ego. They were still hurt. They still wanted, they didn't want to open up to you. Or if they did, they attacked you with their ego here. And I feel like you have proof. But just getting proof and evidence, I feel like you, you know, you have proof. Yeah, something is like the same shit, different day with someone in their energy. And I feel like somebody needs to switch up the energy. I feel like you may need to offer to help someone, offer them some help. They Even if they get mad about it, who cares? Just tell them, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. That's what I'm getting. All right, somebody needs to handle their family issues. And you could be warning someone about their family, and somebody could have gotten their ego. Okay. Yeah, and y'all need to be careful what you're telling people because they, somebody around you is telling someone around them. Like, they, they could be going back running and telling their family shit that you're saying. And the moment you say some shit that they don't like, they're going to run and tell their family. So you need to be careful. All right, this could be like a child here. Your child could be doing this. You need to be careful what you say around your children, okay, because they could be going around telling other family members stuff. Yeah. Sorry for the long pauses, you guys. I'm just downloading stuff. All right, look, somebody got caught. Somebody got you caught up in some type of love triangle, a third party, or they got you as like a third party here. And I feel like this is just more than love. I feel like this could be even friends too. Like there could be some friend gossip, and they got your name caught up in some. He said, she said. That's why, you know, you gotta be careful who you trust, and you definitely gotta be careful with um. What you tell people because this person, somebody's going back telling their family shit. And they about to have your, your name tied up with some he said, she said. A family friend. Ooh. I hope this reading is not all over the place for y'all. Look, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody big mad because you're an idol. Somebody big mad because you're an idol. Because you're loved and respected. Okay, you are adored and... and, and idolize you have fans here somebody is big mad about that shit they trying to say you broke and you still in their energy how the hell you broke and still in their energy when people idolize you when people support you when people look up to you when people respect you when people say they love you and they are admired by you you have a following Somebody is watching you here and trying to say that you're the creep, and they the one creeping on you. And you and listen, but some of you guys are y'all. Some you know that this person is doing this, that they're pretending. And for some of you guys, it could be a friend that knows too. Like a friend may know this he. I don't know, but we have karmic friend here. Some of you guys, y'all need to choose love. Y'all need to, in the sense of making the right decision. Your ancestors and your spirit guides and your angels are giving you. A, a, a warning, a intuitive hint in your gut, your 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 heart, wherever you feel your um your intuition, or even downloads and visions and stuff and messages, and they're telling you to make the right decision. That decision is a love based decision. If you choose a karmic this um decision, you're going to get a karmic outcome. Again, that's karma. Somebody is learning about karma. You can even be learning about karma. All right, divine feminine. That's why you're going through all this shit because you're realizing the shit that you do. You know cause karma not in a negative way but you know you realize that you have to deal with this person a certain way because if you do this or do that it's going to cause some some type of issue some type of uproar wow the song is called stagnant why did they make a song called stagnant all right 
Somebody really wants you to be stagnant here. They want you to be stuck and stagnant, but you run it. You're running. You hard down running here. All right, you trying to run from this nightmare, okay? Because this person is, is almost like maybe a groupie or, you know, they just not taking things seriously. They not taking you seriously or they just acting like a groupie. All right, sparsity tactics. Somebody was playing on you. Somebody was manipulating you, all right, because they was holding a grudge and they wanted you to be all in your head. All right, they wanted to confuse you. All right, hooked here. I'm hearing you are not hooked. Wow, extra triggers. Somebody could be upset with you because you're not you're not hooked on them, and they hooked on you. But I did say I did hear you are not hooked here. Somebody could be all right, but then maybe somebody is mad that you're hooked. Hooked on somebody else. You're thinking of somebody else. That's weird. Let me get one more with that. Curious about you. Dust it off. There could be a curious ex that's thinking about you here. All right? An ex that wants to come back around. They're curious. All right? You could have dust them off here, but they want to come back. And there's an energy that's extra mad. All right? Because you may be still attached to an ex energy or an ex is still attached to you. Now, this could be that DM. Somebody could still be mad at the fact that your person is still attached to you. And that they've been, you know, playing mind games the whole time. This could be the third party. If your person been playing you in the third party, the third party found out they were getting played. And now they come in to tell you, like, hey, listen, this is what's going on. All right? It could even be a karmic friend. Some type of justice is being served. Somebody is being served some, some court papers here. Somebody may be getting served here. All right? What is that? When you, um, you've um you been served, somebody knock at your door, oh, hey, you've been served. Somebody is trying to get you served or you want to be served or justice is being served overall. But like this could even be spiritually. Someone's about to get served with some type of spiritual karma here where it's like it could even be a restraining order and the restraining order is like okay this person has to stay away from you spiritually and physically so that means this person will never cross your path ever again they can't think of you the moment they think about you they may get a wave of psychic attacks where they just start thinking about all the stuff they've done wrong you know they they, they can never see you again even if y'all like two blocks away you turn the left they turn the right and it's like y'all both turning at at the set at certain times to where y'all won't even cross paths at all, even prior to turning. It's like, there's no way that this person can ever find you. I feel like that is what's manifesting. Like, spiritually, on a soul level, this person can't come towards you again. They can't follow you from a, a next lifetime again. None of that. They can't be all delusional, saying you trying to steal their lives. Like, none of that shit. You have ignoring. Yeah, you are ignoring someone and, you know, you could be focusing on something else that you could be hooked on too. This could be your passions, something that you really, really, really love doing. I feel like this, this hook could be an attachment. You are ignoring some type of attachment and you just focusing on good energy. I feel like There's a lot of darkness going on right now. A lot of shit that was hidden. But like I said, Spirit is saying, keep a positive um, attitude and look forward towards a positive outcome. Okay? Yeah, look, I told you, there's like some shit that's hidden with this inside scoop and threatened. It's almost like somebody's almost threatening. If you tell the truth, so this is going to happen. But I feel like this, this person is weak. It's like they can't block the truth anymore. They can't. Like, honestly, they can't. Something about a boss daddy, you guys could be attracting a new masculine. All right, because, you know, this other one, they probably just did too much. They was always looking for something wrong. Let's get two more, Spirit. Look, I told you, karma. Whoever this, whoever this was that was holding a grudge and playing mind games, they're receiving a lot of karma. Okay? And they're going to have to be, they're going to be facing the spiritual court, spiritual judges. 
God is one of them. God is definitely one of them. He's part. He's he's definitely ruler of this universe. Or if I say part ruler, because I always put mother. Um, well, universe. Our great mother, right? Our divine mother. I always put her first. Then God. Okay, I do. I believe universe. Anyway, let let me not go there. We we all know we come from the stars, right? And that is the great mother universe. All those stars up there are future souls that potentially should, you know, should come down onto this planet if they're not wandering in heaven. All right, we have, yeah, somebody is getting caught up for talking a whole bunch of shit. All right, says anything, does anything, makes shit up dramatic. They're getting caught up for, you know, talking a whole bunch, like, this shit is backfiring. All right, and somebody is being exposed for being a gossip box, for being two-faced, for keeping you in a love triangle here. All right, somebody is just looking at someone like, you know what, you ain't shit. You full of games. I'm moving forward here. Somebody got some type of screenshots here. Somebody, some screenshots could be traveling around here. You could be finding that out. Some that somebody was sharing screenshots. All right, but you aren't interested in that shit now. You don't care now. I did say two more, but I just need one more. I need to put one in the middle. All right, creeping. Yeah, somebody is definitely watching you creeping, man. Watching you creeping. It's your masculine. They, they're still hurt. That's why this threatening is here. Every time they come around you, they threaten you. They come in with this threatening, hostile energy. They need to let it go, okay? You won the jackpot here. People talking shit about your jackpot. And that's the reason why you hauled ass. And that's why they're receiving bad karma. And that's why they're confused because their illusion spells is working on them. All right? They're trying to break through your protective aura, and it's not going to work. You know somebody was talking shit about your jackpot here. Your inheritance, your money, how, how the way you make money, you know it. You know it, and God knows it too. That's why this person is being exposed. They can't hide anymore. I ain't put no tarot today, but we all right. Let's see. Let's get one. Oh, we got more than one. We have fourth chakra, compassion and forgiveness. I feel like you guys are work, working on compassion and forgiveness. And this person needs to work on forgiveness, whoever this clout-hungry person is. All right, everybody needs to heal and work on forgiveness, I feel. All right, that's why you're working on it. We all make mistakes. All right, I have compassion for myself and those around me. I let go of anger, resentment, and torment from the past, and I do not give my power away to those involved. Right. Don't ever give your power away to anyone, even if you want to support them and you want to be on their side. You know, you still don't give them your power. Remember we said earlier, you know, the person who you thought you could trust, you can't trust them. Or, you know, you it's like you were defending someone or... What did I say exactly? It was something pertaining to, it's like, you guys have got to be careful who you help or trust because you don't know the full story. And I feel like that's basically what y'all realizing. Like, I can't be loyal to every damn body. Forgiveness is a gift I give to myself. I forgive myself for things I feel or I feel I could have done differently. Yeah, in the past. And I remind myself that my response could not have been any more involved and evolved than what it is at this time. Exactly. All in all, we all make mistakes so we can grow. So we can know what to do better and what not to do moving forward. All right, there's, a, some, there's somebody around you with a childlike mind that's not getting that. They may need to do some inner child healing. They're they not understanding that shit. That, you know, we all make mistakes and they just need to learn from it and do better and ascend their, their mind on a conscious level. I am compassionate to those in need as this shows them that they are not alone. I precise this by listening, sharing, and understanding of being of service. Yeah, like I said, some of you guys are whistleblow whistleblowers for light workers and it's like, you guys are here to set other light workers free that's going through some torment dormant shit and like yeah you understand yes yeah, you know some, you understand why this person is angry and why they're saying the things that they're saying because they're so angry because they're so pissed off all right this could even you know be you people around you understand why you're mad why you're pissed because you see and know what's going on and somebody is just simply hiding from it all right we have sexuality somebody could be hiding from their sexuality here I honor and respect my sexuality and I allow the natural flow of my feelings. I acknowledge that my sexual thoughts and feelings will arise and I release unnecessary guilt regarding sex. Sex. Don't feel bad about sex. Somebody could be hiding their sexuality, like I said. Maybe they 
hiding the fact that they had sex with a, with, a, with the same sex, or maybe somebody is with the same sex and they're hiding the fact that they had sex with the opposite sex. I am open to the positive sensual feelings coming to me from others. At this time, I keep my sexual activities well directed and, and in balance. And we have instincts. Yeah, you're trusting your gut instincts here. I don't know what this is I'm getting about sexuality, but um, you're trusting your gut. I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have innate desires to be of service in life. As I tap into this feeling, I know what service I am called to do. I believe in myself. Yeah, you guys, listen, we have a service here twice. You being of service, and it says here, I would know what service I am called to do. You guys are, like, realizing what it is that you're called to do now. Coming out of the situation, you're really seeing, you're realizing that you are a light worker. And you wouldn't have went through this situation, all right, in the first place if you was not a light worker. That's what I'm getting. And we have um, second chakra again, creative manifestation. You guys are very creative. You guys manifest well. And I feel like that's why you're you're able to see both sides of the scale or see things from both perspectives, from light and dark, because, you know, of your heart. Your heart gives you your gifts. God just chose you and you have a big-ass heart. All right, creative manifestation. I have the ability to manifest and, and create positive outcomes in my life. It is a time for me to manifest what I need. I ask myself, what do I need? I feel like you guys ask your angels that too. I am optimistic and creative in carrying out all the tasks that come my way, even seemingly mundane ones. Like I said, Spirit said, stay optimistic about your outcome. Predict a positive outcome because that is in store. Spirit is watching. They see that this person is trying to trap you. Spirit see that this person is trying to keep you stuck and binded and keep you in a low vibration. Spirit sees it and spirit don't like what this person is doing to you. So they are going to go to jail, even if it's spiritual jail. All right. Um, I am open to receive and I am deserving. Yeah, I feel like you guys really, really, really enjoy someone's energy. You really like someone's energy. I just felt that in my heart. And I feel like you want to co-create with them. You want to you manifest with them. You want to manifest with them. Yeah. You guys may have a good friend around you. Okay? And they could be helping you get out of this, this shit. They really want to help you get out of this shithole. All right, because they can clearly see, like, somebody evil-eyed you, and they manifested this shit for you. Yeah, look, confidence. I feel like somebody feels your your power, and they feel that you're real and you're genuine, and you just have strong boundaries. You, you know, you're confident. You're not backing down. You're just powerful. All right, just like, the you know, the person that sees this in you. They wouldn't want to take no shit like this either. Yeah, so I feel like you're not allowing fear or doubt to hold you back from doing what you're here to do. Somebody is definitely trying to feed fear and doubt into you so you won't be a light worker, so you won't prevail here, you won't see the truth. I have confidence, belief, and, convic and convictions in my abilities and goals. I welcome questioning about others as this gives me a chance to clarify my truth, ideas, and philosophies. I trust in a higher power and I'm open to new challenges. Yeah, you guys are like right there next to God here. Okay, I feel like yeah, you are, like, literally right there next to God. I feel like, um, of course we all work with God, but I'm getting your specific job. It's like you're right there next to God, and God sent you to set one of his children free from a demonic demon. Yeah, look, convictions here. Somebody's going to be convicted of a crime. All right, I had to look, research that because with the self-confidence, it says something about your convictions. Yeah, belief and conviction. All right. A firmly held belief or opinion here. Yeah, I feel like you guys, it was something about opinion. You guys could be realizing that somebody is just full of opinion, just not full of facts. All right. You got to be careful with them. But somebody's going to be convicted. They're going to be judged. 
All right, they're going to be going to jail. They're going to be facing jail time for what they did to you. All right, inner harmony. You're going to get your inner peace back because there's, there's energies around you that's coming from this toxic person that's trying to mess up your inner peace. And your sensuality, I'm getting your passions, your independence, your stability. They're trying to mess everything up for you. Look, peace. They're trying to mess with your peace here. By keeping you in fear, they're sending their ancestors after you to keep you in fear. I trust my internet with my internet wisdom and respond accordingly. Yeah, I feel like you guys are dealing with things accordingly now. You're not feeding your energy into something anymore. At least as much. I do not allow my mind to create doubt or to override my strong gut feeling. I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others. I am at peace with myself and those around me, and I do not harbor unrealistic expectations of myself or of others. I release the need to control others. Yeah, it's like you guys realizing, like, why am I, you know, holding on to something that is not serving me any purpose? It's not helping me in any way. Okay, hold on. My personal power is free from ego and from any desire to manipulate or exploit situations or people. The foundation of my thought and action is, is trust in myself. Yeah, somebody ego is exploiting you. And it's, man, and it's manipulating others, okay? They want to expose you and slander you, and it's their ego. Somebody in their ego. I told you with that hurt ego. Somebody is hurt. Their ego is hurt. It's triggered. And they're taking it all out on you. Rather they want to believe it or not, this person is hella confused. All right? And they are sending their confusion energy towards other people that's around them. That's why you got to protect yourself when you're around this person. Shield yourself instantly. Because they are going to confuse you. Alright, with their little lies and manipulative tactics. Alrighty? But you guys are fine. I love y'all so much. Namaste.